Hello friends, welcome to our today's session. In this series, we are going to learn the topics and some of the sample questions that will help us in clearing the Databricks certification on Data Engineering Associate. In our today's video, we will cover a sample question that is asked in recent times in certification and uh, we will go through what is the question is all about. We will understand the question and then we will also check on each and every options using a Databricks Community Edition. I mean like we can have a small demo to understand the each options result and uh, we can identify which is the correct answer. So this question I have posted it in my YouTube community page and uh, as a poll and thanks for your active participation. So that being said let us move on and uh, understand the question. So let me open notepad. So the question is which of the following line of code returns approximately 1000 rows some of them potentially being duplicates from the 2000 row data frame transaction DF that only has a unique rows. So let me split this into two part input and then output. So on reading the question I can see they are expecting 1000 rows approximately not exactly the approximate word is important they are expecting the output to be of 1000 rows uh, it might be a 950 or else it might be 1050 so they are expecting a ballpark value uh, which is near uh, to the 1000 and uh, also I am getting the additional information like it will have some duplicates as well so 1000 rows with some duplicates So this is what the output and uh, in input side I have a data frame called uh, transaction df and uh, this transaction df has 2000 rows I mean like the count of this data frame is 2000 and also this one is unique it don't have any duplicates. So this is what the question is. So we do have a transaction DF of 2000 row uh, with all are being as unique records and in our output we need approximately 1000 rows getting returned with some duplicates. This is the question. Now let us move on to our Databricks community edition and understand uh, what is the answer. We will execute each and every option and understand. So that being said let us move on. So we are into my Databricks community edition. I have already started the cluster and it is up and running and now let us move ahead. So for creating the transaction df with unique 2000 rows I have I'm using spark.range command and inside this I'm giving 2000 so that it will return 2000 IDs. So it, there will be only single column. Let me display the sample here. So the transaction df it will have a column called id and it will have it from 0 till 199. So 2000 rows and let us check whether we have any duplicates or any uh, not. So for that I am using transaction.count and transaction.distinct.count. So both should match. If both are matching then there is no duplicates. So you can see the output is getting returned as 2000 for both the things so we don't have any duplicates so our uh, condition has been matched for input we have transaction df with 2000 rows and all are unique so this is what the input we have created and now, now let us check on each and every option uh, which you can uh, give the output that we required so let us move ahead and check uh, on the option 1 I hope the screen is visible let me make it somewhat bigger as well. So on the option one, uh, what is the option known as transaction df dot list of uh, 1000 by seeing itself uh, most of you guys would have understood like uh, uh, the list is not the uh, object that is uh, can be used using uh, df. So if I run this it is going to throw a syntax error. So it says like uh, there is no attribute called list. So this is a wrong option. 
So this is not the right option. We can omit it. And moving ahead, option two. In option two, the transaction DF dot take off thousand dot distinct. So if you are using transaction DF dot take off thousand, it will give us uh, first thousand records. But since we are having only unique uh, transaction DF dot take off thousand, it will be again unique. So it will not have any duplicates, but again we are using dot distinct as well, uh, which this take of thousand will create a list, and on top of this distinct, I don't think this will work. Let me run this. Most of you guys have given this answer, but the thing is like uh, this is throwing a syntax error, which says like list object has no attribute of distinct. Uh, so we can run take. we can run distinct before uh, take option but after take if we run it will be throwing error so this is also a syntax error the option 2 is also a syntax error moving ahead uh, before coming to option 3 and 4 let me move to the option 5 so in option 5 uh, this is again a sample uh, transaction df dot sample and here we are passing three parameters inside it uh, one is true And zero point five, and force is equal to true. Before running this, uh, for answering this question, we should be confident enough uh, on the topic of sample. Like sample will be accepting three parameters, and uh, one will be a replacement parameter. Maybe it, if we are giving boolean of true, it will include a duplicate value. If it is false, then it will not include any duplicate values. It will be only a unique value, and then here it will be. the range of uh, the fractional value which can be a range of 0 to 1 and uh, this will represent the number of uh, uh, rows that has to be taken and then the third parameter uh, is a seed like uh, if you are rerunning the sample for several times and you want the same number of uh, samples has to be taken every time then you have to give a seed uh, which will be a number uh, any number it can be it will be it will be converting it as a hash code and then it will be returning the same record every time on a sample so that is how the sample works but here in this third parameter it is given as force is equal to true uh, which is not the right uh, syntax so obviously this is also a syntax error which is going to throw error you can see like un unexpected keyword called force so there can be a third parameter but the third parameter is a seed so this is not the right option that's what it is saying So now let us move ahead to the option uh, three and four. So in option three, we are giving, we are passing two parameters. Uh, one is the true, and uh, another one is point uh, five. So the fractional parameter is the mandatory parameter that we have to give, and uh, this uh, replacement parameter and the seed parameter are optional. Uh, if replacement parameter is uh, default by default, it will take it as false. But here we have set it as true. True means nothing but uh, it can include duplicates. So let me run this. And here you can see I am assigning it to a data frame. I am creating a new data frame with this sample, and uh, we are getting a count as well as distinct of count. So our understanding is like if both are matching. then we don't have any duplicates it will return only a unique rows let me run this but you can see uh, since it is uh, ballpark like it is not the exact 1000 records it will be taking uh, approximate 1000 records so here you are receiving around 956 records in in the data frame and when i put distinct it is showing only 763 records which says like it has some duplicates as well Uh, and the duplicates uh, and the total count is 956 so this one matches our criteria so the option 3 is a correct answer like uh, transaction df dot sample and this should be set to true and the fractional should be 0.5 this is the right option so let us uh, go through the option 4 as well so here instead of true we are setting it as false which will say like uh, uh, it, there should not be any duplicates it should have a unique rows so let us check that as well whether there is any unique rows in our uh, final output so same thing i am doing i am assigning it to a data frame and then i am printing the 
d dot count and then d dot distinct dot count so if both the uh, values matches then there is no uni there is no duplicates that's what our understanding is so if i run it you can see like so it is creating 1000 records that is fine but if you see there is no duplicates so that is how this one fails this uh, this option fails the, so the final result is transaction df dot uh, sample true of uh, 0 0.5 so this is the right option Hope you guys uh, understood this. Please try this in your uh, own machine as well. Uh, we will have uh, lots and lots of uh, questions posted in our uh, community post regularly. So please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content. Uh, thank you for watching guys.